Hi, my name is Mark. Mark? I'm Bill. Glad to meet you. Yeah, so where are you from? I'm from Houston, Texas. Ah, I'm from Southern California. There must be a lot of cute girls over there, huh? Hell yeah, but most of them are hoochies. That sucks. So what, are, what year are you? I'm a freshman. This is my first year too. So what made you decide to come to California for school? I hear Austin is a good school. It's alright, but I think Berkeley is better. So is this where you wanted to come? To tell you the truth, I wanted to go to Stanford. I made it on the waiting list, but 99% of the people accepted to Stanford go there. Like who wouldn't, right? Very true. But this is still a good school. I'm not complaining. I just know that I wanted to come to California. Texas is cool and all, but I wanted to experience different things. That's good. Do you know what you plan on majoring in? I was thinking about political science, but now I'm leaning towards English literature. How about you? I plan on majoring in double E. Do you know where the Smith building is? I have to pick up the syllabus for my psychology class. I missed the first day. That's a great start. It's over there by the library. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, we should hang out later. Cool. I'll see you tomorrow in class then. All right, later. Hey Jack, you look tired. What's going on? It's finals week and I've been up all night studying. How many exams do you have left? Three more to go. Have you been keeping up or are you cramming everything? If I was keeping up, I wouldn't be needing to stay up all night. Haha, <laughs> looks like you were in for a tough week. Tell me about it. How about you? What have you been up to? I finished my last final this morning. So you're completely done? No, I have one more report that is due this Friday. I haven't started it yet, but it shouldn't be too tough. How many pages do you have to write? It's a 10-page paper on habitual behavior for Psychology 211. You want to take one of my exams for me? I would if I could, but you know that's not possible. Yeah, I know. If you need help with your chemistry class, I can help you over the weekend. That'd be great. Let's get together Saturday around lunchtime. You don't know how much this means to me. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'll see you on Saturday. Hi, my name is Jack. Hey Jack, I'm Seth. It's nice to meet you. Looks like we're going to be roommates. Yeah. So where are you from? I'm from Tacoma. How about you? I'm from Ontario. In Canada? No, it's in California. It's a smaller city in Southern California. So what made you come here? I wanted to go to a different state. I see. Hey, if you don't mind, I took this side of the room. No problem. They look the same to me. Are you a morning person or a night person? I'm a night person. That's great. So am I. I like to sleep in the morning. That should work out well then. Hi, I'm Sarah. My name is Jessica. It's nice to meet you. Yes, it's nice to meet you as well. Have you been here long? I got here about an hour ago. Do you want me to show you around? Yeah, that would be great. The most important is the bathroom, right? Definitely, but we have to share the bathroom with the whole floor. The break room is over there. The bathroom is right across from the break room. And finally, the RA, resident advisor, is in room 315. I'm glad there's a TV in the break room. I like to watch TV. Me too, so I brought one. I haven't unpacked it yet, but it's a little TV that works. Cool. I brought a refrigerator. I like to store some snacks in there. Feel free to use it. That would be perfect. I think we're going to have a great time. Do you sleep pretty late, or are you a morning person? I have never been either. I'm very flexible with sleeping times. Anyways, I'm a deep sleeper, so a little noise never bothers me. That's good to know. I'm usually a night person, but I'm very quiet if my roommate is sleeping. As long as you don't blast the music while I'm sleeping, I should be fine. Did you eat lunch yet? No. Is there a cafeteria in the building? Yeah. I'll show you. I'm calling about the available room. Is it still available? Yes, it is. Do you know where we're located? Yeah. I drove by this morning. I like the location. What's the rent? It's eight fifty a month, so you would pay four twenty five a month plus half of the bills. How big is the place? It's a two bedroom, one bath, and roughly about eight hundred square feet. Is the complex pretty quiet? Can you hear a lot of noise or anything like that? They have a strict policy in the apartment complex concerning noise level, so it stays very quiet after ten PM. Are you the only person who lives there now? Yeah, I'm only looking for one roommate. Everything sounds good. Can we schedule a time to meet so I can look at the place? I'm available anytime today or tomorrow. How about if I come over now? 
That works with me. What is your name? Oh, my name's Brad. Okay, I'm Randy, so I'll see you in a bit. Should only take me about 15 minutes to get there. Sounds good. Hey Jane, how are you doing? Hi Jack, I'm doing great. I hope you haven't been waiting too long. No, I just got here a few minutes ago. Do you know if smoking is allowed here? I think this is a no smoking place. Do you want to go somewhere else? That's alright. I don't need a smoke. Why don't you quit? I never thought about it. All my friends smoke and we hang out a lot. So, do you smoke by yourself? When I started, I didn't. But after a few months, I started smoking at home. Usually when I'm bored. Do you smoke because you're bored? Yeah, it helps to kill the time. I also think it's out of habit. I'm so used to having a cigarette every now and then. How much do you smoke in a day? I smoke about a half pack a day. Well, I think you should quit. You know it's bad for you. I always knew it was bad, but I never thought about it. You better start thinking about it now. You might not feel the difference now, but after ten years of smoking, you might feel it, and then it will be too late. That's a good point. I'll try to quit. Good. And if you need any support, I'll always be here for you. Thanks. Hey, John. I didn't know you were coming to the school. Yeah, what a coincidence. It's good to see you. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, what have you been up to? Not much. Just school and stuff. Where are you going now? I'm going to the registration building to see if I can withdraw from one of my classes. Are you bombing the class or something? Partially that, but mostly it's a boring class. I'm getting nothing out of it. So where are you off to? I finished class for today, so I'm meeting my girlfriend to watch a movie. What are you watching? The Lord of the Rings. I haven't seen it yet. Have you? Yeah, I saw it about a month ago. It was really good. Don't tell me anything about it. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Uh, no problem. Hey, what are you doing this weekend? Nothing really. I was going to rent a video and just hang out at home. My fraternity is going to have a party on Saturday night. Want to come? Hey, that sounds like fun. What fraternity are you in? I'm over at the Delta Fraternity House. Cool. Give me your number and I'll call you Saturday. It's uh, 206-555-1212. All right. I'll see you on Saturday. See you later. You're Jason, right? Yeah, Tom, right? Yeah, what's going on? Not much, just hanging out. A bunch of guys are playing a game for shots. You're not playing? I had enough to drink already. I hear ya. You in school or do you work? I work at a marketing company. How about you? I'm still in school. I have one more year left. What are you majoring in? I'm majoring in computer science. Where do you want to work? I would love to work at Microsoft, but it's pretty tough to get in. So I hear. So you come to this club often? Every now and then. I usually hang out at Pioneer Square. Yeah, that's a cool place. There are a ton of bars to hit in that area. Are you here with Mike? No, some, some of my work buddies. I haven't seen Mike in a while now. Do you know what he's up to? He's going to grad school. What a surprise. I didn't know he was so studious. <laughs> yeah, surprise us all. Hey, I'm going to get another drink. You want one? It's all right. I still have to work on this one. I'll catch you later. All right, man. Hi, my name is Robert. I'm John. It's nice to meet you. Do you know what this professor is like? I have no idea. This is my first year. You a freshman? Me too. Where are you from? I'm from San Francisco. I've been there a few times. It's a great city. Where are you from? I grew up in this area all my life. So you know where all the fun places to hang out, right? Yeah, the best place is over by the water. They have a lot of clubs and bars. I drove by that area before. I didn't know it was a college hangout. It gets pretty wild over there sometimes. You should go. Sounds like a good idea. Do you know what you're majoring in yet? Not yet. I'm leaning towards business, but that's only if I can't get into computer science. How about you? I want to go to med school, so I'll probably end up majoring in biology. That's cool. Is the weather this bad all the time in the fall? Yeah. This is a typical autumn. It gets worse, though. At least it's not raining that much. That sucks. You'll get used to it. In the meantime, you'll have to watch a lot of movies. Seems like the only thing to do with the bad weather. Too expensive. Can you believe how much movies cost these days? Yeah, it's crazy. It's like nine bucks a movie. I remember when it was half that. Unless it's a date, I'm not going to pay that much to watch a movie. That makes sense. Oh, the professor's coming. I'll talk to you later. All right. Hi there. Do you know anyone here? I'm a friend of Stacy's. Stacy Miller? I know her. Really? How do you know her? We went to middle school together. That's cool. What a small world. So how do you know Stacy? We went to the same sorority. What did you major in? I majored in sociology. Really? Me too. That's kind of cool. Where did you go to school? I went to Berkeley. So what are you doing here in New York? 
I work at a consulting firm. Isn't that hard work? It was in the beginning, but I got used to it. It's a lot of hours, though. I bet. I don't like working more than 40 hours. I need time to play. I hear that. I wish I had more time to play. But I do like my job. I think it's important to like your job. I like talking with you. Really? I feel the same way. Do you want to go out sometime? Like dinner or something? I like that. Here, let me give you my number. Hey, honey. Where do you think we should go for our honeymoon? I always wanted to go to Mexico. Cancun is supposed to be a great place. That sounds pretty good. But how about the Caribbean? That doesn't sound too bad either. Do you know how much it would cost for airfare and hotel? If we go five nights, then the total for airfare and hotel would be about $1,700. How much would it be to go to Cancun? I found a deal for only $1,200. That's a lot cheaper. Let's go to Cancun then. Really? That sounds great. I picked up a lot of brochures. Let's take a look at all the things we can do. That reminds me. I better make sure my passport is not expired. You better make sure. If it's expired, you have to hurry and renew it. We still have a couple months. No rush. What do you want to do in Cancun? I want to go golf at least one day. And I also want to try surfing. Do they have instructors on the beach? Yeah. This brochure shows lessons and equipment rentals and everything. That shouldn't be a problem. I want to try snorkeling. Do we need to buy snorkeling gear? No, we can just rent it there. Sounds like we're going to have fun. I know. I can't wait. It's going to be so fun. Where are you guys going for your honeymoon? We decided on Cancun, Mexico. I've been there before. It's a great place. What did you do there? There's so much to do. It's a big tourist place, so there's access to everything. That's good. I'm looking forward to our honeymoon, especially after all the wedding plans I had to do. How long are you going for? We decided on six days. We are leaving on Sunday and returning on Saturday. That should give you plenty of time. Do you have all your travel plans in order? We just booked our flight and got our room. Everything is set. You're going to have so much fun. I'm so jealous. When you get married, you'll have your chance. I need to find a guy first. Where do you want to go for your honeymoon? Since I've been to Mexico and Hawaii before, I want to go to Australia. That sounds great. It's a little out of our budget, so we didn't even consider Australia. For the price, Cancun is one of the best, so don't have any regrets. It's a great place. So do you have a ride to the airport? My brother is going to drop us off. Looks like everything is set. Just make sure to take a camera. I know many people who forget to take a camera on their honeymoon. Will do. Thanks. Hey, Samantha. You've been so busy lately. What have you been up to? Hey, Jackie. I started dating this cute guy and decided to start exercising. You're not out of shape. You look fine. Well, this guy I'm seeing is a personal trainer and he has a perfect body. Compared to him, I need some work. How long have you seen him? We've been together for about a month and a half. Did you sleep with him yet? Not yet, but before I get into bed with him, I want to look fit. That's not the greatest reason to exercise, but I guess it is a valid one. How about you? Anything new in your life? My father is a little ill. He has been to the doctors quite a bit lately, but they don't know what is wrong with him. He complains about stomach pains a lot these days. I'm sorry to hear that. Any idea what could have caused it? He says it is because he didn't take care of himself when he was young. That's why I want to start thinking about my health. I think it's important to take care of yourself while you're young, too. Even though my reasons are not the best, at least I'm working on it. How are your parents doing? They're doing great. I'm thankful that they're healthy. That's good to hear. Well, I gotta get running now. I'll catch you later. Okay. Send my regards to your father. I will. Thanks. Wow, Billy. Looks like you lost a lot of weight. I can hardly recognize you. Thanks. I've been on a diet for about six months. I'm gonna ask Rachel to marry me soon, so I want to be mentally and physically healthy. Hey, what does being overweight have anything to do with marriage? If you love each other, that's enough, right? Yeah, but I want to show her how much she means to me. This is one way of proving it. I'm changing for the better. Well, good for you. Hey, when do you plan on proposing to her? I'm planning on proposing to propose her on her two-year anniversary. Is she expecting it, or will it be a surprise? I think she expects me to ask her one of these days, but not anytime soon. You sure you want to settle down already? You're only 25 years old. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get married until I was 30. 
But when you know she is the one, why wait? That's true. Hey, I hope everything works out. You're going to invite me to your wedding, right? Of course, man. Gosh, I'm still shocked how much weight you lost. You're getting real skinny now. I'm working on a six-pack now. I have two lines starting to show up. I've been spending a lot of time at the gym. It's hard work, but I feel so good after working out. Where do you work out? I have a membership at Bally's. It's not too expensive, and I like all the equipment they have. I've been thinking about joining the gym. Are they having any specials right now? Yeah, they do. They have free enrollment and first month free. You should come by. I'll show you around. I can take in a guest so you can try it out before signing up. That sounds good. Let's go to Saturday. Cool. Call you in the morning. Hey, Stephanie. Guess what? What? Robert asked me to marry him. We're getting married. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. So when is the big day? We haven't set the date exactly, but it looks like it will be sometime in July. How did he propose to you? On Valentine's Day, he got me a present. I thought it was an ordinary Valentine's Day present. But when I opened it, it was this big diamond ring. Right then, he got on his knees and proposed. That's so cool. So you really got surprised. We talked about marriage a little, but I never knew he was serious. You're going to be so busy with wedding plans. But you have several months to prepare for it. It's going to be pretty hectic for me, so I'm going to need some help. First of all, I was wondering if you would like to be my maid of honor. I'd be honored. So you're going to help me with the planning, right? Of course. How many bridesmaids are you going to have? Three. So we will have a total of four. Let me guess. Susan, Tina, and Cindy. Close. I'm going to have Cindy as the candle lighter. The third bridesmaid is going to be Lydia. She is a good friend from church. I know her. She's sweet. I'll make sure we have the best wedding for you. I hope so. I appreciate your help. Yo, Matt. How goes it, man? Pretty good. What have you been up to? You know that chick in psychology class? Yeah, you only talk about her every other day. I can't get her out of my mind. She is damn fine. Why don't you go talk to her then? I think she's out of my league. Chicken, someone's only on your leg if you think so. What are you seeing her anyway? She's a little chubby, dude. She is not. She has a nice figure. And she has such a pretty face. Whatever, if you think so. You like skinny girls or something? I like normal girls without any flabs hanging out. Now you're exaggerating, you freak. Seriously, I like girls who's fit and likes to exercise. How about personality? It doesn't matter. Until you think about marriage, and I'm not thinking about that yet. Well, I'm looking, so I don't care that much about figure, as long as she is nice and sweet. You like to watch baseball? Yeah, I follow the Mariners every year. I wonder how they'll do this year. I don't know if they have a chance. Did you hear that A-Rod went to the Yankees? I know. Their team was too good even before getting Alex. Yeah, the richest team is usually the best team. They need to put a salary cap to make things fair. I agree. I don't know why they haven't done so already. Hey, don't lose hope too soon. The Yankees don't have a good pitching staff this year. They might end up like the Texas Rangers. Great offense, no pitching. I highly doubt that. Even though they lost Pettit, they still have a decent pitching rotation. We'll see. I hope the Mariners do well this year. Me too. Oh, did you buy any tickets this year? I got a couple of games with Oakland and Boston, but I couldn't get anything with the Yankees. Same here. I went in on the second day and all the tickets with the Yankees were already sold out. There's still plenty of other games though. We should go together one of these days. Sounds good. Let's plan for late June. Do you know when the basketball season starts? It starts in October. How come? I like to keep up with the Lakers. You keep up with baseball at all? Just a little. Not as much as basketball. Who's your favorite player? Mm, probably Kobe Bryant. But he has too many issues right now. Yeah, he's a great player. But his recent problem is really affecting his play. You yeah, hope everything turns out okay. Do you play basketball much? I usually get into it during the playoffs. I'd rather play than watch. I like to watch as much as I play. Do you play often? Every now and then, with some friends. Yeah, I usually play twice a week at a health club. It's easy to round up ten guys during the evening time. That sounds pretty fun, but I'm too out of shape to play full court. I get tired too, but I figure it's good for my health. And I'm having fun at the same time. So you think the Lakers will do good this year? They better. They got a lot of good players now. If Malone can stay healthy, 
then I don't see how they can be beat. I don't know. I think Sacramento has a strong team this year. True. But I'm pulling for the Lakers all the way. It's going to be a great season. What are you watching? A football game. Packers are playing the Chiefs. I never understood this game. It's not that hard. If you watch a couple of games, you'll start to understand it. Do you watch a lot of football? I like the Packers, so I watch all their games. Did you play football before? Only in high school. I was too small to play for college. What position did you play? I was the cornerback. Is that the main guy in offense? No, that's the quarterback. The cornerback is a defensive player covering passing plays and outside running plays. I see. Do you think it is more fun than baseball? It's hard to compare the two because they're so different. I like both baseball and football. How about you? You like baseball a lot? Yeah, I'm a big baseball fan. Baseball's fun, but you should also learn football. I'll explain as we watch. Cool. How did you golf on Saturday? I did pretty good. I shot a 13. Not too bad. I thought you were going to break single. I had a chance. I shot a 4 on the front 9, but the back 9 killed me. What happened? My drive was totally off. All of a sudden, I started hooking the ball. I hit two balls OB, and that killed my score right there. That sucks. You could have broken single if it wasn't for the penalty strokes. Yeah, I was so frustrated after that hole. But overall, I shot well, so I'm not too disappointed. How about you? How have you been hitting lately? I hit great on the range, but when I get on the course, I can't seem to hit the ball right. That happened to me for the longest time. It just takes time and practice. When you go out on the course more often, that problem will fix itself. I'm still trying to break 90. I've been hitting in the mid-90s forever. How far does your driver go? I don't use it that much. I use my three-wood more. I'm not consistent with the driver to use it. You gotta keep practicing with it. Eventually you get the hang of it. Yeah, I practice with it on the range, but I'm not making any progress on it. Let's go to the range together and I'll check out your swing. That sounds good. Let's go tomorrow night. Okay, that'll give us practice for our round on Wednesday. I'll meet you there at 6.30. Okay, see you tomorrow then. Hey Jack, what did you do last weekend? Josh had a bunch of guys over at his house and we played poker. Why didn't you guys call me? We did, but you weren't home. If you had a cell phone, maybe you wouldn't be left out. Yeah, I need to get a cell phone. So what games did you play? We only played Texas Hold'em. That's all good. What was the bid amount? We started playing No Limit. It was so much fun. That sounds awesome. Let me join you next time. No problem. Just get a cell phone so we can contact you. Alright. Who won though? John. He always wins. He's damn good. You only played one game? We played two games and he won both of them. What is the buy-in? Only ten bucks. That sounds fun. Ten bucks isn't that much money to have fun while chilling with your friends. Exactly. But what happens if you get out in the first ten minutes? Then you're screwed. You can watch TV or play at the Xbox. Better not die soon then. So, when's the next time you guys are playing? Probably this Friday. Give me a call Friday morning and I'll let you know the exact time. Hey Cindy, I heard you are seeing someone. Yeah, his name is John. I started dating him a week ago. That's so exciting. Tell me all about him. Is he good looking? I think he's cute, but not drop dead gorgeous. How did you meet him? I go to this coffee shop a lot, and this guy is always there. We started talking a couple of times, and he finally asked me out. That's so cool. What does he do for a living? He works in the finance department in a manufacturing company. Do you know if he makes a lot of money? I don't know for sure, but he drives a nice car, and I heard he has a house. How is his personality? He's very smart, and a great person to talk to. In the beginning, we talked for about 30 minutes a day in the coffee shop, before he asked me out. Besides that, he's very sweet and romantic. How old is he? That's the problem. He's two years younger than me. What do you think about that? What's the big deal? I don't see anything wrong with that. If you were 23, then I might be worried he was immature. But you're almost 30 now. Two years is no big deal. Yeah, that's what I think. When do I get to meet him? How about a double date? The four of us can go out to dinner and a drink or something. That sounds great. How about next Saturday? I think Saturday will be good. 
Let's double check with the guys and get back to each other. Great. I'll call you later then. Okay. Talk to you later. Jane, did you see that guy standing by the dance floor? Yeah, he's kind of cute. Wait, isn't that Beth's boyfriend? I'm not sure. I haven't met him before. Look, he's dancing with another girl. Are you sure that's him? No, it just looks like him. I heard he was a nice guy. He wouldn't be cheating on Beth. Yeah, you're right. How do you know about him if you've never met him? I hear all this stuff from Beth. She's always going off on how nice and sweet he is. I heard the same thing. What type of guy are you looking for? Someone who's understanding, responsible, sensitive, smart, and with a lot of money. Don't we all? Get real. All those guys are probably already taken. It doesn't hurt to have expectations. What type of guy do you want to find? All I want is someone who is going to treat me well. You know Alex, don't you? He likes you. I bet he'll take good care of you. He's a dork. At least someone who is not an idiot, okay? Hey Jason, what are you doing this Friday? Going to the driving range because I'm playing golf on Saturday. You're golfing without me? What's up with that? <laughs> Sorry man, we already have a foursome. I'm going with a couple guys from work. Where are you playing? Washington National. Have you been there yet? Uh, I've been there a couple times. It's a great course. You know the Huskies play there, right? I didn't know that. Is it a hard course? Uh, it's pretty challenging, but it all depends on which tee you play from. Ah, what are you shooting these days? I'm still hovering around a bogey game. Eh, still better than me. I'm still trying to hit a bogey game. Do you want to hit the driving range with me? I can't this Friday. I'm playing basketball with the guys at night. At night? Yeah, we're playing indoors at a school gymnasium. What's the occasion? Uh, just a small league I play on. Nothing special. Yeah, I'm too short to play basketball. You're not that short. Plus, we have a couple guys who are the same height as you. They're awesome players. I never got into basketball. It's fun and all, but... It I'm just not good at it. It's still a great exercise. I get a better workout from basketball than I do from the treadmill. That's true. What do you think about Matt's new girlfriend? Samantha? She's pretty hot. I can't believe she fell for Matt. I heard she was a slut. I know four other guys who slept with her. She ain't no slut. If she was so easy, why don't you get in her pants? I don't know. Just something I heard. But she has a killer body, doesn't she? When are you going to get a girl? I don't seem to have much luck with girls. Why do you think that is? I say the stupidest things around girls. I don't know why I do that. It's because you're nervous. Best thing to do is not say a word until you know it's not stupid. It doesn't work that way. I stop thinking around pretty girls. I know. You got to date a girl who isn't that pretty then. Screw you. <laughs> What's the story of your love life these days? It's only been a couple of months that I broke up with Sarah. But I think it's about time to start hunting again. Who's your type? Anybody with a nice body and a pretty face. How about their personality or their character? I'm not thinking about marriage, so those things don't matter. You're so shallow. So Mark, what is your favorite hobby? Probably sports. Anything specific or just sports in general? Most sports. I like basketball, football, baseball, golf, tennis. So I guess most sports. I like tennis. Did you play for your high school team? Yeah, I played on the varsity team starting from my sophomore year. How about you? I played my junior and senior year. What other sports did you play? I played volleyball. I would have to say volleyball is my favorite. What position did you play? I was the outside hitter. That's so cool. I didn't know you were athletic. I don't know if I would consider myself athletic, but I have fun playing. I play on a co-ed volleyball team every Tuesday. We are always looking for more girls to play on our team. Would you be interested? Yeah, it sounds fun. Just call me any time you need a player. That's great. Since we're on the topic of sports, what sport do you like to watch on television? I never got into watching sports on TV, so I really don't know. Not even the Super Bowl? Only when the group of people I'm with is watching it. I just never had interest in TV that much. Well, I like following the Mariners. They are pretty good. I like to go watch them play. It's fun when you are actually there. A bunch of us are going to watch them play this June. Do you want to join us? Yeah, I'll go. I like the new stadium. It's pretty cool. Okay. I'll make sure to get you a ticket as well. What did Mike get you for your birthday, Pam? He got me a watch. See? That's beautiful. He must have spent a fortune on it. He's so great. I think he might propose pretty soon. How do you know? 
Did he give you any clues? He took me to a jewelry store and asked me what type of rings I like. It was a little obvious, but at least I got to pick the one I wanted. That's not so romantic. He was never very romantic. Silly and cute, but not romantic. I like all his quirkiness. He always makes me laugh. I guess you can't ask for much more than that. How's it going with you and Brad? We broke up a week ago. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? I think we both just started to grow apart. I wasn't surprised. Are you doing okay? Actually, I'm feeling great. I guess I needed some freedom. Have you started seeing other guys yet? Not yet. But when I meet a decent guy, I wouldn't mind dating again. What kind of guy are you looking for? Although my relationship with Brad wasn't that bad, I want a guy who likes to go out more. Brad always spent all his time studying and researching for school. It was quite boring. You definitely need a guy who likes to have fun. I wouldn't mind dating a romantic guy. Maybe I'm dreaming, but a nice walk down the beach or dancing in the moonlight would be something I would love to do. Hey, there are guys like that. All you have to do is find the right one. But that's the hard part. I always fall for the guy who is smart. And then after a couple of months, I get bored. Doesn't a tall, good-looking guy turn you on? Not really. What should I do? We should go to a club this Saturday and find a smart, romantic guy. How does that sound? That sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Great. I'll see you at nine then. Okay. See you later. Hey, Mike. I heard about your breakup. You must be devastated. It's more than I can bear. I don't think I can go on. Come on, Mike. It's not the end of the world. It's the end of my world. She was everything to me. I love her so much. I remember my first breakup. I remember it was the hardest thing I ever went through. So I know it must be really tough right now. Every night, I cry myself to sleep. Can you believe that I actually cry every day? It's normal to cry. You shouldn't feel bad about it. It's the only way to let it out. How long will I feel like this? How long is the pain going to last? It's different for everyone, but it took me four months to get over Jessica. Four months? I have to live in hell for four months? But I'm okay now. I moved on and I'm dating other great people. I know you'll be better. Why do you think she left me? I really don't know. Some people change and they want to go in different directions. But I loved her so much. I loved her more than anything in this world. She was my world. I know you love her. I don't think I'll be able to love anyone again. I thought that too. I thought Jessica was the only person I would ever love. But it changes. It really does. You'll get better and become a stronger person. I hope so. What are you afraid of? I'm not sure. I used to be scared of a lot of things when I was young, but not anymore. Are you afraid of death? Only if I think about it so much. But death is inevitable. So there's no use thinking about it. How about horror movies? No. I know they're all fake, so there's nothing to be afraid of. How about you? I get scared pretty easily. I'm actually frightened of bees. Really? Why? I don't know. I got stung when I was young, and ever since, I've always been afraid of them. What are the things that are you afraid of? Sitting by the campfire and telling horror stories is very scary. Wow. You're afraid of many things, huh? I guess so. Aren't you afraid of something coming out of the bushes? It's not going to happen. We probably went camping dozens of times and nothing ever came out of the bushes. What makes you think something will? I don't know. I guess I'm terrified at the possibility. If you were realistic, you probably wouldn't be scared of everything. Maybe you have too much imagination. I should try to think more realistically. I'll do that. Good. After a while, you won't be afraid of so many things. How are you feeling these days? I don't know. A little bored and restless, I guess. Why is that? I have so much time on my hands and I have nothing to do. Why don't you go out and have fun? I would like to, but I have to save some money so I can't go out all the time. That sucks. After a while, I start to feel anxious. Try relaxing and reading a good book. That's always a good way to kill time. That's true. How about you? How are you these days? I'm doing pretty good these days. My kid just finished kindergarten. I'm so proud of him. That's great to hear. He must be big now. It's been a year since I saw your son. Yeah, he grew a lot in the last year. I bet you're very proud of your son. Yes, I am. Thanks. What are you doing here on the bench? You've been here for an hour. I'm just thinking about Lucy. I can't get her out of my mind. 
I think I'm falling in love. Crazy boy. You barely know her. It doesn't matter. I like everything about her. I like the way she talks, the way she walks, her hair and her lips. I would give anything to kiss her. Did you tell her how you feel? No way! I'll scare her away. You won't know until you tell her. Maybe later, but right now all I can think about is her legs and her face. She's so beautiful. You're wasting her time. At least talk to her. You don't have to tell her how you feel. Yeah, I start talking to her in my poli-sci class. I try to sit next to her as much as I can. That's a start. After a while, you'll find out if she's everything you make her out to be. It won't matter because I love everything she does. Dude, you're blind as a bat. You're just infatuated with her. These feelings are too strong to be infatuation. We'll see in a couple of weeks. Let's go grab something to eat. You're a human, aren't you? Uh, to think of it, I'm a little hungry. Okay, let's go. Hi, aren't you in my sociology class? I think so. With Professor Robinson, right? Yeah, I'm Nicole. I'm George. It's nice to meet you. How are you liking the class so far? I like the subject. I think it's pretty interesting. Me too. But it's hard to sit in class when the weather is so nice. Tell me about it. The weather has been so great lately. So what year are you? I'm a sophomore. How about you? I'm a freshman. Where are you from? Around here? No, I'm from the East. I grew up in New York. New York? That seems like a fun place. More like a busy place. Everyone is always on the run over there. I grew up in San Francisco. That's not too far from here. Do you like living on the West Coast? I haven't been to many other places, but the West Coast is a great place. Yeah, I like it too. Are you ready for the midterm next Friday? I'm so behind. I've been going out a lot. I'm having so much fun, but I really need to catch up on my schoolwork. Where do you usually hang out? Nowhere specific. We always do different things. Have you been to Alcatraz yet? Not yet. I want to go, though. I highly recommend it. It's an interesting place to visit. Maybe you could take me there. If you get a B or better on your midterm, I'll take you there. Deal. It was great meeting you. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Okay. See you later. I can't believe it took you so long to ask me out on a date. I always thought you liked Mark, so I didn't think I had a chance. I had this thing about him, but it's over. So, what do you like to do on your free time? I like sports, watching movies, reading books, things like that. What type of movies do you like? I like drama and comedy. Me too. Mostly drama, though. Have you seen Pay It Forward? Yeah, I love that movie. It's one of my favorites. I cried so much at the end. I thought the idea of Paying It Forward was awesome. What was your favorite comedy? Do you remember The Three Amigos? Vaguely. I was pretty little when that came out. I don't remember it much back then, but I saw it again the other day, and it cracked me up. Maybe I need to see that movie again. I think it's a classic. So many funny scenes. I really like that mask with Jim Carrey. He's hilarious. I love that guy. I like most of his movies. He is such a character. What else do you like to do? Well, I like to exercise. Where do you exercise? I go to a health club by my house. But on a nice day, I like to jog around the lake. That's good. I like to stay in shape, too. But I do that by playing a lot of sports. Do you play any sports? I played a little bit in high school, but nothing really these days. Have you tried golf? Don't start with that. My dad always nagged at me to play, but I never got into it. What do you usually do with your friends? We go out shopping a lot. Where do you usually go? Usually downtown. It's more fun in the city than in the mall. Plus, there are too many high school students at the mall. I know some girls like bags and some like shoes. What do you like to shop for the most? I can never have too many pairs of shoes. I have like 30 pairs already, but I'm always shopping for more. Oh, the food's here. Great, I'm so hungry. After dinner, do you want to catch a movie? Sure, I'm always up for a good movie. Damn, Mark, I never noticed that belly of yours. It's all the beer. I need to start working out again. That reminds me, I should have hit the gym today. Where do you work out? At Belly's. It's pretty close to home, so it's convenient. How much are you paying? I only pay 20 bucks a month. That's pretty good. I think I should join. If you join, we could work out together. It's so much better working out with another person. It's hard to motivate yourself when you're alone. What do you usually do in the gym? I usually spend about 20 minutes on the Stepmaster and then lift weights for about an hour. Do you go every day? 
No, I try to go four times a week, but lately I've only been going two times a week. That's why I need you there. You should join. Will it help me to get some girls? If you get rid of that belly of yours, I promise you'll have a better chance with girls. Anyways, there's so many fine chicks working out at the club. Really? I'm signing up tomorrow. There's some girls with tight outfits. You can see the shape of their body, and some of them are really fine. As long as there are some ladies with nice legs, I don't mind. So you're really going to join? Yeah, let's go in tomorrow and I'll sign up. We can work out together. Cool. Let's go hit some bars to celebrate. I'm down with that.